Hey guys, this is Josh with Kyrian here to talk to you a little bit about the readings and information you see in your SD card. So as you can see here, this is uh, what an Excel or Numbers Outlook would be for your N2. We have up at the top the measurements, uh, information such as what was going on for channel 1 measurements and channel 2 measurements. Then we have our buffer depth and, and sample rate. And then the three columns, A, B, and C, which show you the timestamp, the channel one measurements and the channel two measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to quickly um, how to quickly plot those out into uh, graphs using your software here. And then we'll talk about the timestamp. And this is your quick start guide. Thanks so much. Bye bye. So you just want to go ahead and format those back to general numbers and or a number um, in the general field. So here we have our full our full measurement readout and quite simply and this is going to vary a little bit on your software whether you're using a newer or an older version of Excel or numbers um, but I will just hit insert and I want to see a chart and you know what a line chart is pretty good and this is what we were doing with our fuel sender unit we hooked the N2 up to the fuel sender unit and if you are actually uh, you know wanting to share that with a customer this is on your computer and you can do that however you please. Now one thing that uh, folks do ask about is what is UTC time sec? So this is actually the timestamp and the N2 is timestamping your readings in something called Unix time code. And so this may or may not be automatically converted on your on your software. If it is not converted on your software, we can actually come in and do a conversion for this. And I will put the conversion information in the uh, description of the video and the, the title information. So it will be divided out. What we're gonna do is we're going to divide out the UTC time sec uh, field or that column or that cell by 86,400 then we're going to add the date of 1970, January 1st. In this particular formula, you hit enter. And we, in just a moment, will get a date. So we can get a date and time as well. Let's hold on here. So So we're able to convert that to a date and a time. And in this case, now that we've done that, uh, I've gone ahead and, you know, obviously taken that and run the information here. So perfect, there we go. So on February 17th at 8.30 p.m., we were able to take these measurements and have that information for us. Well thank you very much if there are any questions please do message us we're going to go ahead and put again this formula into the into the description uh we showed you guys how to format these cells correctly what the different fields of data were what they meant and uh, yeah so please do call us email us with any questions we're more than happy to help you out thanks so much and have a great day